into your fish while it is still fresh. In an era of technology, when science allows us to go fishing frenzy, we could see our fishermen daily bringing to the shores millions and tons of fishes, fresh fishes. Well, in order to ensure that a single piece of fish doesn't go waste, we have to know how to keep this fish fresh. For that, science on this context has presented us with the latest technology of high pressure processing which allows us to keep foods like fish and high valuable perishable commodities safe and preserved. High pressure processing is a complex technology based on a simple scientific fact. When very high pressure is applied on any biological substance, the microorganisms and enzymes within are deactivated. In turn, the substance gets sterilized. A French scientist named Blaise Pascal, who lived in the 17th century, actually conducted his first experiment on this note and imprinted his name on this technology, which is called as Pascalization. However, high pressure processing was evolved in this. When high hydrostatic pressure is actually evolved or pressurized on any food substance, it was found that the pressure was transmitted uniformly and instantaneously irrespective of the shape and size of the product. The technology is most effective for food materials containing moisture since there is a uniform transmission of pressure from all sides. This technology is increasingly used for food preservation by the world food market, primarily because it retains the fresh food characteristics, flavor and nutrients and extends the shelf life. It offers us a better alternative to thermal and chemical preservation of food stuff. The technologically advanced countries have adopted the high pressure processing technology for food items and also fish products in the last few decades. Japan was the pioneers who began to use it in the 1990s and in no time a range of food items including fish and fruits began to be processed worldwide under high pressure. Central Institute of Fisheries Technology took up the task of introducing high power processing to our food sector as a sub-project of the National Agricultural Innovation Project launched by Indian Council of Agricultural Research. The project was part of the component Basic Strategic Research in Frontier Areas under NAIP. CFT has also been pioneering the research in application of high pressure processing facilities for foods, which is a novel non-thermal processing technology. I am also proud to say that CFT is the only ICR institute and one among the three in the country which has the high pressure processing facilities. In the years to come, I am sure this technology will gain immense importance for processing of our food commodities in order to keep them safe and fresh. As the technology of high power processing was already in use internationally, the CIFT project looked into the pressure temperature profiles of the high value perishable commodities specific to our own food industry. Scientists who worked on this project also studied the effect of HPP parameters on the quality features and shelf life of both fresh produced and processed food items. From a social perspective, the scope for designing indigenous prototype HPP system was explored, thereby bringing in the hope of cost reduction and other commercially viable adaptations. The pioneering work on high pressure processing in India has been possible due to a World Bank funded project that is the National Agriculture Innovative Project of the ICAR. In this project, CFT partners with IIT Kharagpur for research on perishable commodities like seafood and fruits. Now let's have a look at the wonderful machine that gives us on a platter a tasty and healthy food option. The basic structure of this machine consists of a pressure module or vessel. 
the system control and the power pack or mechanical unit where the valves and the pumps are housed. The pressure vessel has an outer frame or yoke designed to withstand pressures up to 87,000 pounds per square inch. The product to be high pressure treated is packed in a flexible or semi-flexible pouch, mostly made of plastic. The packed product is then placed inside the vessel. The vessel will be filled with a pressure transmitting medium like water with 30% monopropylene glycol. Once the door of the vessel is closed, the hydraulic fluid inside is pressurized using a pressure intensifier pump that is placed outside the vessel. There are programming options in the machine for the entire actions involved. Through the fluid, the pressure is uniformly transmitted to the whole surface of the pouch carrying the food item. Once the pressure reaches the desired level, the product is retained at this pressure for a few minutes. Then it undergoes decompression. Apart from the pressure applied, there are options in this machine to control the temperature and the pace and duration of pressurization. More precise results are obtained using temperature as an additional variable in the pressure treatment. Using the electronic monitoring system, the data involved with the whole process of high pressure treatment can be analyzed and the outcome determined. When highly perishable seafood is processed using the latest HPP technology, it was found the microbial load is reduced, the shelf life increases and the consumer is safe from the necessary evils of chemical preservatives intake that happens in traditionally processed seafood. The microbes destroyed in this process are pathogenic bacteria, viruses, allergens and even parasites. Tuna, which is a popular fish worldwide, forms a major share of high-pressure processed seafood categories. The shelf life of high-pressure processed food will be more or less equal to that of thermally processed food. The specific trials of this technology carried out by CIFT were on tuna and Indian white prawn. The process parameters have been standardized for these two seafood varieties with a very high commercial potential. One major application of high pressure processing worldwide is in shellfish processing. Shellfish being filter feeders might carry a heavy load of harmful microbes from the waters in which they feed. Apart from removing the microbial load, here there is an additional benefit. Under high pressure processing, the edible portion of the shellfish gets detached from the shell and becomes a ready to use and produce for raw consumption. Typical examples are edible oysters and clams, in which under high pressure, opening of the shell or shucking occurs. There is a visible difference in the appearance of a hand shucked oyster and that of one shucked using high pressure treatment, as the latter looks wholesome and visually appealing. HPV technology is also used for the preservation of fruits and vegetables. The mango pulp and juices that we treat in the HPP machine comes out fresher with lesser microbes and spoilage enzymes inactivated with enhanced shelf life and better quality. Indian mango industry can now dream of starting to reap in the benefits. It is preserving the nutritional quality of the seafood. That is all the major nutrients like the proteins, uh, lipids, fat and vitamins and minerals remain intact. and. Uh, Though the enzymatically it is inactivating the spoilage enzymes, it is preserving the nutrition quality. Traditionally in this process, the fish material is kept frozen at minus 22 degrees. And as a result, the meat will be hardened like a rock. When this fish is put in water for softening, it will come to the room temperature only very slowly. The quality of fish will also be lost. Instead, the frozen fish can be brought back to room temperature through high pressure processing. And the name given for this is sublimation. High 
high pressure processing technology is also used for the marination of seafood. The creative side of this technology is actually to induce the flavors and colors required for the food item. Earth is a treasure trove of technologies. Humans are here to go and seek them out for the entire species of the world. High pressure processing technology teaches us that even the simple eternal dance of the molecules in our atmosphere is capable of putting up a magical show. And once harnessed, it can be applied in many useful and intelligent ways. The twin concerns of food security and safety gets resolved when the lights of this machine open their eyes, humming a tune of achievement composed by our scientists and dedicated to humanity.